Praise the Lord, everybody. Thank you so much for tuning into this broadcast today. We are so thankful that you allowed us to come into your home and be a part of your day. This is Prophet Biddy Baker, and I have an exciting word that I want to share with you today. Over the past few weeks, the Lord has been dealing with me and downloading words to me on favor. And I believe that God is unleashing favor on you, your family, your ministry, your business, every area of your life. Get ready because favor is going to fall today. Now listen, I believe just by watching this broadcast, by listening to these words, that there's a prophetic unction. There's a prophetic stirring that's going to take place inside of you right now. And God's going to cause favor to reign over you, on you, and in your life. Listen, I got a quick passage of scripture that I want to read to you from Psalms chapter 30, verse 5. It says, For his anger endureth for but a moment, but his favor for life. Weeping may endure for the night, but joy comes in the morning. Praise God. Saints of God, I'm so this is one of my favorite passages of scripture, Psalms 30, because it tells us that th there is weeping. We we've all wept. Maybe we've been in a situation where things has not gone our way. Maybe you've been in a situation where where uh, maybe you got laid off or you lost your job or friend, if you've been through something like that, I want you to know it's going to be okay because you're still favored. God is going to make a way. When Joseph came before his brothers, finally, after all had been restored, and God did exactly what he said, and he revealed his heart to his brothers and says, I am Joseph, I'm your brothers. And they wept and they repented. And Joseph said, no, you don't need to repent. You don't need to be sorry because it was God that brought us to this moment. Now, friend, I want you to know that God has good things set aside for you. It's not that God caused bad stuff to happen, but God will use anything that's happened in your life for his glory. Not going to cause it, but he will use it. Understand? Because his grace is so beyond anything we could ever understand. Weeping may endure for the night, but joy comes in the morning. God's anger is but for a moment, but his favor woo, is for life. So today I want to talk to you about favor falling on you. Favor falling. God, see what favor will do? Favor will allow you to resolve problems that nobody else knows how to resolve. Um, I was There was this precious couple that came to our meetings and Oh man, they they've been such a blessing. They've been partners of our media, uh, our ministry for a long time, and they came and and the Lord gave me a prophetic word for them, and I began to release this word over them. And God showed me this uh, this uh, this house, this particular house, and a large shop back behind the house, and then showed me uh, seven acres. So I, I just began to release this word and said, I believe this is something maybe you're praying for, you're believing for, and asking God to do for you. At the end of the service, they came to me and said that they were wanting to relocate. Their children had uh, all pretty much moved out of their house and, and that they were just uh, wanting to make a shift and a change, but they needed something that was big enough uh, for their business uh, uh, options in the back of, of their property and said, this was exactly what they were believing for. So I rejoiced with them that God was going to uh, work things out. See, God will give you advantages. Favor will give you advantages that nobody else, nothing else can give you. So I just released that simple word and it was obviously it was a word that was for them, an on time word and began to pray with them and believe with them. And I was back in the area about a year later. And in fact, it was back uh, back last fall, fall of 22. I began to was ministering and just just sharing vision. And at the end of the service, they came to me and said, Brother Benny, this is this is just how God works. 
We were praying and believing for favor in our in a new home, in a particular home with acreage and different things. So it was exactly, we found exactly what we were believing for. The home, uh, it was uh, the, the right number of bedrooms, had the shop in the back. But the problem was we were believing and the word that we received from heaven was for three, was for seven acres. <coughs> Pardon me. But the home that we found only had three and a half acres. And so we, we really prayed about it, but we felt that this was the right home for us. And land, and they lived in the Dallas-Fort Worth area, and land was very expensive around where they were, and they knew that it would cost them a lot to purchase more land. And But this really met what they needed. It's just they wanted that little bit of extra land, but they believed this was the right place. See, sometimes God will tell you to do something that doesn't make sense right now. I heard a wise man say that faith will make you look crazy, but just for a little while. So they purchased the house. It was everything they wanted. They were believing God and praying and, and, and just believing God to, to do everything that needed to do, all the pieces to fall into place. And they got the home and they moved into it. And the business was expanding and growing. And they were looking at, at doing some, some bigger and better things. And there was a piece of land back behind them that they were interested in. They lived on three and a half anchors. The place behind them was another three and a half. That would give them the total of seven acres that they'd been believing for. Come on, somebody. God knows right where you are. And so through a series of events, the people that owned that acreage came to them and said, we own this piece of property. It's our understanding you're interested in this. The people that owned it didn't have any children, had no heirs, and wanted to show kindness for the sake of the kingdom, and said, we would just like to gift you this piece of land. Oh, come on, somebody, friend. Favor will give you advantages that nobody else gets. Not only did God fulfill that prophetic word, gave them the house, the shop, and gave them the land that they were believing for, but then gave them the, the next three and a half acres for free, which caused the price of their property to increase dramatically. Friend, God will give you favor uh, for what you're believing for. What are you believing for right now? Are you believing for ministry? Are you believing for, are you believing for a better job? Or are you believing for opportunities? God will give you favor and God will give it to you. The word says that weeping may endure for the night, but joy comes in the morning. The word says that his anger is just but for a moment, but his favor is for a lifetime. Friend, I want you to know that kind of favor, a special favor from heaven is being released to you right now. Favor will cause you to solve problems that nobody else can solve. This same young man worked for a large trucking company. This was some years before the house incident. Worked for a large trucking company. He was praying and seeking the Lord about a problem they had with a specific truck and asking the Lord, Lord, show me what's wrong with these trucks. He already had a very specialized job and, and could work on the computers and things in these trucks. And But there was a short something going wrong in these trucks that nobody could figure out. So this young man was praying and asking the Lord what it was. The Lord spoke to him and showed him right where the problem was. My friend went went to his boss and said, I think I know what's wrong with these trucks and began to look right where the Lord showed him. And all of a sudden he found a, a little short in one of the little circuit boards that just happened to be taking place in all of these trucks. Not big semi trucks, you know, not just not just uh, pa uh, passenger trucks or pickup trucks, but big semis. And uh he said that he went and he fixed the first one and then they had a couple more and he ended up traveling all over the United States of America fi fixing this truck. He was the go-to guy. Anybody that needed this truck fixed, they called him from all over all over the country to come and fix this, this problem that was taking place in this trucks. See, what God did was God gave him ultimate job security. He became the only guy. Oh yeah, he showed some other people how to do it, but everybody wanted him to do it because he 
was getting the best results. See, what'll happen is that's the favor of God operating in their lives. Friend, that's the kind of favor that's fallen to you right now. The kind of favor that will give you job security, let you do what nobody else can do. Oh, come on, somebody. I I feel the favor of God falling on somebody right now. That special favor. God's opening up doors of favor for you right now. Opening up breakthrough for you. Opening up miracles and healings and signs and wonders and favors falling on somebody right now in Jesus' name. There was a, another young man who he worked as an uh, electrician and was uh, uh, here in Arkansas and was was praying and asking God to bless his business. And he he was praying and and, and the Lord spoke to him and, and he his business started growing. But all of a sudden there was some electrical storms that took place uh, down in Texas and knocked out power everywhere. And they had guys that had 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 to go south to help fix this problem. And so this young man, he, he, uh, he's praying and believing for extra business. And all of a sudden, he gets a call from a dairy. And their com main computer system is down. And they said, can you help us? And he said, you know, I really don't specialize in, in these kinds of computer systems. But let me do some research and, and I'll tell you what we get. And they said, look, you're, we can't even get anybody to answer the phone because everybody was gone. They'd, they'd gone south to help with these other problems. And so uh, this young man, he, he went, to, went to bed that night and was praying and seeking the Lord. And God gave him a dream. And in that dream, this young man had gotten up and, and had uh, uh, walked into this big room full of computers. And he walked down, uh, and I don't remember what the steps were, but walked 100 steps forward and 50 steps to the right and, and went down three feet. And there was a little board, and he pulled the board out, and there was something wrong with that board. And he fixed it in just an instant. All this took place in a dream. And he said, I woke up and in the middle of the night, I called the people. They needed help right away. Their whole system was down. They were losing thousands of dollars every hour that they could, that their machines were down. He said, I called him and said, I know what's wrong with your machine and got up and traveled to them. And he went and, and he found, went in, walked the paces and turned and went to right to where God showed him. And all of a sudden he pulled out that little board and sure enough, there was a circuit that was bad. He was able to fix it in just a moment. And in that moment, he became the guy that they called for everything. Multi-million dollar. Oh, come on, somebody. Multi-million dollar contract. Just like that. The favor of God. Friend, the favor of God. When the favor of God falls on you, it's for life. The word said his anger is but a moment, but his favor is for life. You got to believe for the favor of God to fall on you. Favor like Joseph had. Favor like Esther had. Favor that says, come on into the throne room of the king and let me let your eyes see what nobody else is seeing. Let me let your ears hear what nobody else is hearing. Friend, God wants to release that kind of favor to you right now. I had gone into a service and it had been praying and believing, and I'll just be honest with you, it wasn't a big service. Uh, it was a new area, and it wasn't. It was an off night. It wasn't very well attended. Uh, in fact, the pastor wasn't there that night, and we were believing for miracles. You know, we don't care how many people show up. We want we want God to show up. That's what matters. Long story short, the end of the service came, and I began to challenge the people with the seed offering. And I, you know, and the service was kind of done, but at the, end, at the end of that moment, after we'd received the offering and everything was kind of completed, the Lord spoke to my heart. There was a young man sitting in the back. I didn't know who he was. I'd never seen him before. Didn't know anything about him. The Lord had me minister to him, and he looked like he was maybe 19, 20 years old. He had not paid attention during the service at all. You know, it's just one of those things, and that's okay, just between him and Jesus, and his girlfriend was there with him, and he honestly, he seemed more in, in, uh, interested in speaking with this girl than anything else. And so I, I began to release this word, and I remember the Lord told me that God was blessing him with a, uh, not a multi million dollar business, but a hundred million dollar business. Oh, come on. Somebody dream big. See, I was at the right place at the right time.
There was an opportunity that had fallen in my life because I had obeyed God. Friend, obeying God will cause favor to fall on you like nothing else. Obeying God will cause the windows of heaven to open up and pour a blessing out on you that you can't contain. God spoke to me to go to a difficult place. God spoke to me to go at a difficult time. And see, when we obey God, it causes favor to fall. And this young man, he just he just kind of looked at me and never experienced experienced that kind of a prophetic word before. And he began to weep and began to respond to the Holy Spirit and shared some things with him. And the Lord spoke to me and said he would give him one idea. And that one idea would bring hundreds of millions of dollars into his life. At the end of that service, I slipped out and, and all of a sudden a young man comes walking up to me and said, hey, Brother Benny, do you know who that young man was? And I said, oh, no, no, I, I don't know. He said, that's the pastor's son. We'd never met before. The pastor's a good friend of mine. I'd heard the boy's name, but I'd never met, met him, didn't know anything about him. He wasn't 19, 20 years old. He was actually in his early 30s and had a successful construction business that he'd started from the ground up that God had really been blessing. Unbeknownst to me, God had given him one idea that he was pursuing. And this one idea was going to open up a business opportunity that was going to bring millions and millions of dollars, possibly, listen to these words, hundreds of millions of dollars into his life. Some Friend, I want you to know God's going to cause somebody to be at the right place at the right time to cause blessing to flow in your life like you could never dream of. The next day, the pastor called me. Again, he had been out of town and couldn't be in the service. I was just there for the one service. And he told me, he says, began to tell me that it really ministered to his son. And again, his son didn't come to church, that church all the time, hit the distance and everything. And we were in a new place. It was just, you know, just a kind of a perfect storm of what you would might think would be the wrong place at the right wrong time. But God turned the wrong place at the wrong time to the right place at the right time. Oh, come on, somebody. God's going to do that for somebody right now. And he said, Brother Benny, he said, this young man, he had this idea and began to tell me about the idea. It is in the works. And he said it is going to bring hundreds of millions of dollars into his life. Now listen to these words, friends. It's the favor of God because only God could have given me those words. Only God could have showed up this way. He said, Brother Benny, when this works out, neither he nor I, nor you, come on somebody, favor of God, nor you will ever give a concern about money. Never worry about money again. Friend, I don't worry about money now because God has got me taken care of. But what he was saying is when God blesses him, he's going to bless us in such a way that we will never give a thought to it again. Friend, I want you to know that's the favor of God. The favor of God fell on that young man that day and God be, put him on a path to bring hundreds of millions of dollars into his life. That kind of favor can fall on you right now. Obey God. God told me to go to a hard place. God told me to do a hard thing. And because of it, God spoke God spoke to somebody that's going to bring blessing into my life and everybody around me. Oh, friend, it's the favor of of God. Only God can do that. I was up in I was up in Chesterfield, Virginia, just a, oh, it's been a few years ago. I think it was around 2018. I had been traveling and ministering for days and I was honestly I was tired. I call it eating out of a lunchbox, eating out of a, a, a eating out of a cooler because a lot of times I try to eat right and 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 not, you know, not eat I don't try not to eat fast food. So a lot of times I'll take things with me in a cooler that I can eat, fruits and vegetables and and uh uh, sandwiches and things that are healthy, you know, that I that I can eat and it'd be okay. And so I've been kind of eating out of that lunch box for a couple days and maybe stopping just here and there, but but really not sat down to a good meal in a few days. I had come into that service that day and it was a life-changing service and the power of God fell. Many people were touched by the power of God. At the end of that service, the pastor came to me and said, Brother Benny, where would you like to eat? And I said, Pastor, it's your area. You, you know the good places. You know, pastors always know the good restaurants, right? So he said, you know the good re restaurants. Just, you know, take me wherever you like. He said, well, Brother Benny, I want to take you to such and such steakhouse. Happened to be my favorite steakhouse. 
And so uh, we went and we sat down and began to fellowship. He said, Brother Benny, order whatever you want. And he said, I'm going to have the bone-in ribeye. I'm going to have uh, mashed potatoes and I'm going to have a salad with ranch dressing. That just happened to be exactly what I ordered at that restaurant. The favor of God, my friend. Favor of God. And as we sat there, I, I ordered the bone-in bone in ribeye. I ordered it medium well. I got salad uh, with ranch, baked potato with butter and sour cream and was enjoying my meal. And out of nowhere, a young man comes walking up to the table and points at me and says, who's the preacher? Actually, he said, who's the prophet? And uh, the pastor said, this is Prophet Biddy Baker. He's our guest this week. And he looked at me and he says, the Lord won't let me leave until I bless you. And he said, I'd like to purchase your, your meal today. And he wanted to pay for everybody's meal at the table. The pastor had already gotten the check and already taken care of the meal. And he looked at me and said, well, the Lord won't let me leave until I bless you. And he walked over to me and he handed me $100 and, and said, may the Lord bless you and keep you. I didn't know this man. I'd never seen him before in my life. But the favor of God, somehow the favor of God found me. At the, the Lord knew that I was tired. The Lord knew that I was hungry. The Lord knew I needed that, that moment. And the favor of God fell on me. Oh, saints, hear me. I know I'm sharing a lot of testimonies with you today, but I feel it so feel it so important for somebody listening right now. God wants you to know that that kind of favor can fall on you right now. God loves you and has got a great plan for your life and wants to release that kind of favor over you, over your ministry, over your life. See, favor will give you advantages that nobody else gets. I remember we were we went in to buy a car just just to hear a couple years ago, uh, uh, but a few years ago everything was the other day to me, and we went in and when we when we looked at the car as everything that we wanted it was the right color it was the right right everything and I began to talk to the salesman about about purchasing the vehicle and and was trying to trying to work it out so we could get this car and they just didn't want to budge and and so you know I'll be honest we were just we were done we we were we weren't really gonna uh, pursue the car, the car any further and and so we uh, we began to walk out and the guy came back to us and we had prayed and we'd um, we had really heard the voice of God. We knew exactly what what needed to what we could afford and what we could do and and uh, be honest, we'd be getting a very good deal. This young man comes walking back up to us and he says, "You know what? My manager said that we can do this deal for you and it was unprecedented." But we're going to make this work for you, Mr. Baker. We want to put you in this car today. Friend, just want you to know God will give you favor and give you opportunities that nobody else gets. I'm believing for favor for you right now. I believe the favor of God's going to fall on your life, your ministry, your family. I believe it's taking place right now. I want to pray with you today as we close out this broadcast, this part of this message. I want to pray that the favor of God falls on you and your family. Lord, I, I pray for my friends and partners. I pray right now that your favor, your special favor falls on them right now, on their business, on their ministry, on their family, on their finances, every area of their life. I'm thanking you, Lord, for miracles for our friends and family, our friends and partners. We thank you for being a part of this broadcast today, believing with you for miracles. Now you go and have your best day ever. I hope that you've enjoyed today's broadcast. I know that I'm thankful that you are a part of our ministry. Thank all of our friends and partners for coming out and being a part of our live prophetic encounters, for following us on Facebook and on YouTube, being such an intricate part of our ministry. Those of you that, that aren't already, I want you to make sure to sign up for our prophetic devotions. Every week we send out a, just a quick video and a prophetic word that will be a great blessing to you. You can just stop by BennyBaker.com and all that information is there. Uh, we want to ask you today if this ministry has been a blessing to you. We want to just ask you to prayerfully consider sowing a seed into this ministry. We are making a huge impact on the world. 
literally taking the gospel of Jesus Christ into millions of homes through our prophetic encounters, through our outreaches, through television and internet ministries. Man, God has privileged us to have the opportunity to take the gospel of Jesus Christ around the world, reaching as many people as possible. That's our mission. That's simply to take the gospel of Jesus Christ around the world and reach as many people as possible. We want to thank you so much for being a part of the ministry and prayerfully considering sowing a seed. The Bible tells us in Galatians chapter 6, verse 7, Whatsoever you sow, that also shall you reap. Oh, what an awesome, what an awesome word. Whatever you give, whatever you give into the kingdom, that's what you're going to reap back. You, you know if you take a tomato seed, you plant it out there in the garden, you don't just get back one tomato, do you? You get back a whole harvest. The same is true with corn or potatoes or, or apple seeds or any whatever you put in the ground. You get back a whole harvest in due season, right? Same is true with the kingdom of God. Whatever you put in the ground, you don't just get back what you gave. You get back a whole harvest, right? One of my favorite scriptures is Mark chapter 10, verse 30. It says this. It says, whatsoever you give up, houses, land, family, relationships, any of those things. And we've all done that, hadn't we? The Bible says, now in this lifetime, you will receive a hundredfold and in the world to come eternal life what an awesome promise you don't just get a harvest you get eternal life God's got us covered on both sides here and when we get to heaven right so today if this ministry has been a blessing to you stop by the website bennybaker.com and so a seed. go ahead right there on the left hand side there's a spot to hit a little button and become a monthly partner and we appreciate it it would help us take the gospel of jesus christ all around the world thank you again for being a part of this broadcast god bless you now go out and have your best day ever praise the lord everybody prophet benny baker would love to have you join him at one of his upcoming meetings march 5th through the 8th faith assembly of god pegs oklahoma March 10th through the 11th, Kingsway Fellowship International, Washington, Iowa. March 12th, Full Gospel Revival Center, Kelowna, Iowa. March 19th, Assembly of God, Locust Grove, Oklahoma. March 24th through the 25th, Glory Barn Prophetic Conference, Branson, Missouri. March 26th, Faith Builders, Kansas City, Missouri. Jinja, Uganda, April 11th through the 25th.